Hello everybody and welcome to our new complimentary tutorial today. In the last video, we, we illustrated how to identify hydraulic flow unit using um, uh, Betrill. And uh, uh, today we are going to display a new method, very simple, more simple uh, than the previous one using the core data. Usually uh, the core data provided by this format, sample sample depth and sample number, permeability, porosity, oil and water saturation, and vice versa. Here uh, in this example, uh, the permeability or the samples uh, collected uh, for each feed, which is unusual, but usually you have uh, a sporadic. So here I consider the delta delta depth or thickness here is one. If you make a formula like this, equal this cell minus this, which is here is one feet only, and one feed repeated to end of section. Okay, but uh, in your real data, you can find something else uh, in regards uh, of of thickness. Now we have permeability and porosity. Uh, this method called uh, modified, uh, or sorry, stratigraphic modified Lorentz plot or SMLB. We are going to using uh, Microsoft Excel. As you see here, you can use the same file of core you received from the core lab. First step, uh, we are going to construct a uh, storage capacity. Storage column which is multiplication of sorry, thickness which is here is one, always one thickness times burst ok and just apply to the rest of cells, just have a click in the corner. Okay. Uh, we can make it as a percent of the total storage capacity. In order to do this, uh, you have to make a cum column. Equal the same cell here, equal this cell plus the second one, and as usual, double click here to apply to the rest. Uh, storage capacity again, storage capacity in percent. Or fraction, it doesn't matter. We fraction. Okay. Now divide this one, the first one, divide by the Q or the biggest one. And make this one is constant by clicking on F4. Okay. Then apply to the O. Okay, you can see here the last one, the biggest one is one. And start with zero, theoretically, and end with one. Okay, now repeat the same with a flow capacity instead of storage capacity. Flow capacity is equal uh, KH. 
Ya. K uh, K here in uh, uh, G column equal K property times H which is in our case is one. Okay. And tabla. For Q Q KH or flow capacity KH equal first one and second one equal first plus second and vice versa apply to the rest of cells. Now make percent Q flow capacity or fraction sorry fraction okay equal this one divide by the last one and make the, the last one is constant by clicking F4 Okay, then apply to the rest. Great. Now make a chart which is Lorenz charge or modified Lorenz by storage capacity in fraction. Versus flow capacity. Okay, insert. Green. We need to make the maximum for both axes as uh, in in uh, on right axis in one. Yes. Start from zero to one. From this plot, you can see here we identified the one, two, three, four, uh, four hydraulic units. I suppose uh, the flat one or horizontal one is a barrier between two, uh, two centipodes, two or two permeable zones. You can see here uh, if you want insert. shapes straight line here yes this one is the hydraulic unit number one we can take a, a cover and apply to the rest second one hydraulic unit number two and This one considered uh, no reservoir or no cord interval. And finally, the fourth one we consider is the hydraulic unit number four. Okay, from these hydraulic units, you, we can uh, collect or make a new. Uh, scale data for each one and assign it uh, into Bitrail. We can make it later on in another video. Thank you for watching. Have a, have a nice day.